for me? Oh, that's great. How about tilting your head back just a little bit? Chad's doctor has recommended that his tonsils come out. So he's visiting another kind of doctor called an otolaryngologist who knows all about ear, nose, and throat problems. Does it hurt at all? Oh, that's good. Why do I have to have my tonsils taken out? Well, your pediatrician's been telling me you've been having a lot of bad sore throats, and we call that tonsillitis. Yes, remember you missed a lot of school days last year, Chad. When you open your mouth and look past your tongue, you will see a dangling thing called the uvula. On both sides of the uvula are your tonsils. Their purpose is to help your body fight germs that come in through your mouth. Your adenoids are up higher, behind the nose and roof of your mouth. They are made of the same kind of tissue as your tonsils, and normally they help protect you against getting sick from germs. But your tonsils or adenoids are no longer working so well to fight off infections. Now your tonsils and adenoids may be holding the infections in places medicine can't reach. So instead of helping destroy germs, they are giving germs a place to hide and cause infections. Because of these infections, your tonsils and adenoids have become very sore and swollen. The swelling may have made it hard for you to swallow. Others in your family may have noticed your difficulty in breathing, especially at night. Also, you may have had a lot of sore throats that have lasted a long time, and maybe some earaches. To help solve these problems, your tonsils, or adenoids, or both, will be removed. After your tonsils are out, your body will still be able to fight off germs and you shouldn't have as many sore throats. A day or two before your operation, you will go for a few simple tests. Okay, I want to take a look at your throat. How big can you open your mouth? All right, say ah. Okay. Okay, everything looks fine. Um, when you bring him in on the day of surgery, you bring him right up here. Okay, and the registrars will let the nurses know that he's here. They'll put him in a little gown like here, and that's about all we'll do here, and he's going to just run around. Now, if he has a favorite blanket, pillow, toy, something that makes him feel good, he can bring that in with him. Okay. So about an hour before surgery, you take him up to the operating room, at which time you meet his anesthesiologist. An anesthesiologist or a nurse will explain how you will be given medicine to make you sleepy during the surgery. Usually the older children, they use a mask. You know the kind of mask the pilots wear? Yeah, they're going to use that. And you put it over their mouth and your nose, and the, the other kids tell me it smells like bubble gum, okay? And after he's lightly asleep, then they'll ask you to leave, at which time they'll probably put him deeper to sleep. Now, when the surgery's over with, your surgeon will come out and talk to you and let you know how Chad did. And meanwhile, anesthesia will be waking him up, making sure he's doing okay. And when he's all right, they'll bring him right back down here, okay? Okay. In the next day or two, you will go to the hospital or surgical center for your surgery. The night before surgery, you are not supposed to have anything to eat or drink after midnight. Once again. Great. Good job, buddy. Here's one last sip of water before bed, okay? okay? Remember, the doctor told us during the night you can't get anything to drink, so if you get up, make sure you don't get anything at all to drink, okay, honey? Tomorrow's your big day. Sleep well. The day of your operation, you'll come to the hospital, and you will go to a room to get ready for your surgery. We'll take real good care of him, Mom. Thank you. There, you will meet the people who will assist your doctor in removing your tonsils. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Hi. My name is Miss Debbie. I'm here to take care of you today. What we're going to do, we're going to take you in this room here in just a few minutes, okay, when the doctors get set up. The operating room is a special room set up for your doctor to perform surgery in a very safe way. The operation should take only about 30 to 45 minutes. How you feeling, honey? You'll wake up in the recovery room. Yeah. You have been a big boy. You pulled through this so well. You will have an IV in your arm which has medicine and fluids to make you feel better. 
Your throat will feel very sore right after the operation, and you might feel somewhat groggy and sick to your stomach as the anesthesia wears off. I'm going to take a quick listen to your back. Take a deep breath, sweetie. That's it. One more. Okay, good. Do you think a popsicle might make that throat feel better? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. What color do you like? Red. Red. I'll bring you one back. If your tonsils were taken out, it may take longer to get better than if just your adenoids were removed. There you go. Okay, big guy. That'll help a lot, won't it? You will probably sleep on and off most of the day. The doctor or nurse will check your throat. If your throat is dry and there is no bleeding, you'll be allowed to go home. Oh, how about a little bit? Oh, that's good. After the operation, you may notice you have bad breath for a while. You may talk funny. This is normal. This will gradually go away. The uvula may be swollen. And there may be a few sores on your tongue. This is normal. However, if during the next 10 days you notice excessive bleeding, more than a few teaspoons of blood from the mouth, call the doctor's office at once and follow his instructions. For the next two days, stay inside and rest and drink plenty of clear fluids. In many cases, it's common to have a fever for about a week. How's your throat feeling, Chair? Still hurts. Also, your throat will probably hurt, and the pain may be in your ear, too. For pain, your doctor will recommend medicine. How are you playing? Can I go? To prevent infection, an antibiotic may also be prescribed. You may notice what looks like a yellowish curtain inside the mouth. This is normal and will gradually go away. You will be able to eat soft foods like eggs, soup, and ice cream. Try not to eat acidy foods like orange juice or crunchy foods like cold cereal. They may make your throat hurt. Ice cream's the best part of this whole thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can resume vigorous activity as soon as your doctor recommends. In a few weeks, you should be back to normal. With your tonsils or adenoids, or both now gone, you will hopefully have fewer sore throats. If you have any further questions about having an operation or the recovery, Please ask the doctor or a staff member.